Hey guys, welcome to Juicy Tea, where I read out the best stories on Reddit so you don't have to. The funny, shocking, and satisfyingly juicy. Today, we look at the most entitled people on Reddit. I put veggies in all my food to stop my roommate's kid from eating it. Mum threatens legal action. Posted by Veggie Vengeance. I, 26 female, live in a rented house with a single mother, 30 female, and her son, 6 male. I don't mind living with her and her kid, it's fine and we do our own thing. I spend a lot of time at my boyfriend's place or working anyway. Our work schedules collide so we don't really interact much but when we do, it's fine, no issue there. I want to start by saying that she clearly struggles financially but I don't think that's an excuse. I don't make lots of money either. However, I've noticed that my food would go missing or portions would be taken from it. I assumed it was her kid, so I asked her if she'd stop him from eating my food. I was calm about it and she said that she would. It didn't really bother me at first, but it started getting annoying when I get home from work and expect to have a meal's worth of leftovers in the fridge, only to see it'd been picked through or just gone. I kept bringing it up and she started getting annoyed with me for bringing it up. Just from observing them, I realised that neither of them ever eat vegetables. And judging by the food that would get picked through and the food that would be untouched, anything with green in it was avoided. Orange chicken would be gone, but chicken and broccolini would be untouched. So, I started putting vegetables in everything. I find vegetables to be delicious and anything green or not a potato doesn't get eaten. So, I can mix some bell peppers into the food and it'd be fine. I make a big portion of vegetables pretty frequently anyway, so... I just started putting in all my meals. If I had leftover mashed potatoes, I'd pour in green beans and mix it up. If I had leftover cheesy bacon fries, I'd pour broccolini all over it and mix it in. Usually my homemade stuff has vegetables in it, but I started making sure that everything did. I made a pot of mac and cheese, the kids' favourite thing, and poured in roasted Brussels sprouts, which is actually delicious to me and I'm eating more vegetables so it's a win-win. She seemed annoyed, but we were all home when I made the pot of mac and cheese. She was in the living room and saw me get out the Brussels sprouts and was like, What are you doing with that? And I poured them in. She said, I was being greedy and annoying. And I just said, I like Brussels sprouts. And that was it. She said, we need food. And I told her to go get some. Or stop buying only prepackaged things and your money will go further. I think she sees this as some big act of revenge, but I just simply want to be able to eat my food. Also, I want to add, the sharing isn't the issue, it's the expecting to have food there, and it's not. So often, I'd be working a long day and get home expecting to have a meal's worth of food, and it'd all be gone. Or I'd wake up in a rush and have my food ready to eat in the morning, only to find it gone, so now I have to skip breakfast. If she'd simply text and ask, hey, is it okay if we eat food item? I would know and be able to make other plans like stock for food on the way home. Also, I think eating the last of someone else's food is crazy and rude. If someone makes a big pot of something and you ask for a serving, sure. But if someone made something and there's only one serving left and you eat it without permission, that's evil as hell. Update, so I've been steadfast with putting vegetables in everything. I put vegetables and things I've never even thought of. This has carried on and the mum calls me a jerk but will not verbalise that she's eating my food. She just sees me making a lasagna and adding celery and bell peppers to the layers and fumes off to the side. The only thing I can't add vegetables to is snacks like chips or if I bake brownies or cookies. However, this is easily remedied by putting baked goods in a Tupperware and keeping them in my room. Same with chips. As I previously stated, the sharing isn't the issue. Recently, the kid knocked on my door and asked if he could have a bag of microwave popcorn. I said yes and gave him one. All of this would be way less annoying if she'd just text saying, hey, can I have some of this? And then wait for my response before just helping herself. I do feel for the mum because she clearly struggles with cooking and trying new foods. She's older than me and winces at the thought of biting into anything green and it's spreading to her kid, but that's not an excuse. A few days ago, I was making taco meat out of ground beef and, like usual, she was looking without looking. She was off to the side, watching my every move, but trying to look normal. I'd made a dish the day before that involved sautéed mushrooms and cut up peppers. 
So when the meat was almost ready, I opened the fridge and she freaked when she saw me holding the mushrooms. She said, son's name hates mushrooms. And I just poured them into the pan and mixed them in along with the cut up peppers. This caused her to react in a way I've never seen from her before. She was yelling and stomping around the kitchen while the kid just watched. I felt bad for the kid to have to see his mum like that. People were worried about her tampering with my food. I don't think she's the kind to do that, but if she did, I would report that right away. She was flipping out, but she didn't snatch my food or knock anything over. She was opening and slamming cabinets. It was all very silly. Then she started going off about how she's going to get the authorities involved. I just told her, sure, and that she needs to relax. She seemed genuinely upset and stressed and I told her that I understand being a single mum is hard but she needs to use her government assistance more responsibly. She'll come home with cold mac and cheese, sushi and chicken from the grocery store, prepared foods and blow all of it on that. I suggested food pantries and buy ingredients that last a while, like potatoes. She said I was being condescending and I always have food to eat. To address the just portion your food and set it aside for her and the kid, I do not make enough money to regularly feed two other people. If every now and again she asked for some of my leftovers, sure. But this was a consistent thing that was happening. It's not as simple as giving her leftovers that I won't eat anyway. If I make a pot of something, I expect to live off that for the next few days. If they eat it, then my money's messed up and I have to go shopping again and budget for more food. Waste my time and money. The audacity of threatening to call the cops, like, what was she gonna say? My roommate won't let me steal from her! Come arrest her! The Karen of my building told me that her keycard isn't working, demanded that I fix her keycard, so I did. Posted by I'm the one who. This just happened, five minutes ago, and I think it's hilarious. I'm the facility manager for my building, everything that happens or goes wrong is my responsibility. So I make sure everything runs smoothly. My boss has made it clear, it's my building and I was hired to not only keep the people in line, but to run everything. I'm not a dick, but I do hold people accountable. Forcibly, but politely. There was no facility manager for a long time before I came along and both clients and employees ran amok with no order. In the four months since I've been here, my boss has praised my performance and has gone to bat for me countless times. She's the best boss I've ever had. I've got a firm but fair approach and my reputation reflects that. I've got a Karen in the building and trust me, the name stereotype applies. She's just a counsellor for family services and has nothing to do with our group. She likes to complain about everything and gives my boss a headache almost daily. She shares an office with another woman who, unfortunately, is picking up on a Karen tendencies, a Karen in training. I've been doing a keycard order all week and I knew to leave Karen's keycard alone because she's the only Karen in the building so her name stands out. I'm missing about 75 keycards, former employees all having door access and dating back to 2015. Can't have that so I deleted a lot of them, especially if it had a wacky name or just a room number. However, I did delete Karen in training's card information because it wasn't under her name. She just came to tell me that a keycard wasn't working and Karen happened to be passing by and overheard it. I fixed Karen in training's keycard and we went to check to see if it worked or not. We found Karen outside the office waiting, complained to my boss that her keycard didn't work either. Karen wandered away and my boss rolled her eyes and I smiled and told her I'll take care of it. After checking to make sure Karen in training's keycard worked, I went downstairs to check the system. I looked up Karen and wouldn't you know, her keycard was completely fine. In fact, it showed that she had a master keycard. So, I changed all her permissions and limited her back to just her room only. I went upstairs and got my boss's attention because her office is right next to the ladies and I mouthed, listen, and pointed. I opened their door and was all, hey Karen, I went and checked your keycard in the system. Everything is good to go. In fact, it said you had a master key to the building and per company orders, since you're not a contractor or a company employee, I can't give you that access. So I had to revoke your status to just this room only. Can't have you bugging people on official business, wink. Thanks for bringing your keycard to my attention. She started to object that she needed the master keycard because of XYZ and I was all, 
Yeah, sorry. Maybe before, but I'm the facility manager, and you don't need access to everything except this office. And if you do, it's outside your pay grade, so you'll have to come get me. Okay, cool, thanks. Bye! And then just close the door on her mid-sentence. My boss was quietly laughing her butt off in her office and gave me an air high five. Edit. Karen isn't staff. She's just renting an office. She has no business having access to our material supplies or workspaces. Down in the comments, Empathetic Teddy Bear says, In IT, we have a saying. All is known. We have the ability to see everything you're up to. So be careful with your demands slash complaints. Remember, I post new content every day, so subscribe for more juicy tea.